What's up guys, Kevin Cook here. And did you know that when Chinese people greet each other, they don't say, how are you? They say, ni chi fan ma, have you eaten? That's when you're speaking Mandarin, the common dialect. But there are hundreds of dialects spoken throughout the country of China. And because I'm in Yangshuo, this is a touristy area of China, I bet that there are people from all over the country here sightseeing and doing some traveling. So what I'm gonna do is go out to the streets here and ask some people to teach me how to say ni chi fan ma using their local dialect from where they're from. I bet it'll be really cool and we'll hear lots of different dialects here. So as you can see, basically every person I spoke to had a grasp on some dialect or at least some variation of a local dialect. Even though everyone was communicating the same message, the way that they delivered it was so completely different. It's worth noting that because I filmed this video in one location, naturally everyone I spoke with is not going to represent the entire population of China and all the different dialects spoken throughout the country here. In fact, all the dialects shown in this video heavily skew towards the southern region of China, particularly the Guangxi and Guangdong provinces. But we were able to see not just the difference in dialects spoken in different provinces, but in fact in different counties within the city of Guilin itself. We spoke to someone from Lipu County, Miangshuo County, and Gongcheng County, and they all had a different dialect. Check it out. So even though these people are from like only 60 kilometers of each other, their dialects are completely different. And now apply this scale to the entire country of China and just imagine the vastness of all the different dialects here. And when I say dialect, I'm not even just talking about like an accent here. I'm talking about almost like a language itself. Some of these dialects are so completely different from each other. I'm from the United States, I'm from Texas, and a lot of people in the south of the United States will talk with a little bit of southern drawl whenever they communicate, but somebody from New York might throw in a little bit of a New York accent, you never know. That's just an accent. When you're thinking about dialects, that's like a totally different language people are speaking in different regions throughout China. That can be totally confusing, especially for someone like me who is studying Chinese as a foreign language. If you do decide to study in China, even though there are just countless dialects spoken throughout the country, studying Mandarin is a surefire way to be understood and be able to understand all the people that you're communicating with here because it's the dialect that's taught in all the schools here and it's generally understood by the entire country. So if you are considering studying in China, look no further than Omeida Chinese Language Academy here in Yangshuo. Not only is it a beautiful place to live with great scenery, beautiful outdoors, lots of things to explore, but the community in this school is so great, you're gonna be fully immersed in Chinese culture and language, and even if you're here for a short time, your Chinese is gonna improve a lot. So check out the link in the description below and if you do decide to study at Omeda, please use my discount code MONKEYABROAD. Let them know that I was the one that told you about the school. You get a discount and that lets the school know that I was the one that told you about it. So everybody wins. I'll see you next time, guys. Thanks so much for watching.